What is up everybody? Bones88 here and we are here for another episode of the free to play series. You know I haven't been on for a few days but nothing much has happened. It's been kind of boring that's why I'm kind of not doing it every day but when we get farther up in ranks and more excited we'll start doing it every day. But once again not much is going on. It's going to be a little bit boring we're just doing the usual grind but we are setting defenses for my very first battlegrounds. Um, I'm well over 40, I think we're at 42 levels, and at 40 I unlocked Battlegrounds, so that's exciting. I think you only get to do four nodes, but that's still going to be fun to do. It adds to the to the video and stuff, and that's about it. I'm doing tower mode every day, I'm beating it every day, making sure I get that refresh as soon as I can. So um, I'm going I'm to quit talking, let's just get to the video, and once again, I know it's kind of boring and monotonous, it's what everyone does every day, but... You know, that's the free to play series for you. So let's get on it. So I always just get rid of these dots like usual. I'm gonna register for this raid. Um, I'm not raiding. I have a team that maybe would do a hundred damage, you know? So my guys are just carrying me. But I'm getting Shadar shards, I'm getting good gear for being level forty two. I'm in an awesome guild. Dragon cupcakes, I appreciate you guys so much. And here we go, defensive phase. So let's set these real quick, before, so we don't forget. Um, this is this is new to me. It's weird to say this, but this is new to me. Four nodes, but also, do I even have four teams? I don't think so, but we'll see. Um, and unfortunately, I can't stream these right now because of my internet connection, so I can't ask for people's opinion. So just comment below and let me know if you guys think I did something right, something wrong, what I should do, and next time we'll do something different. So I want to put the weaker teams on the back. Which is, I have no clue how to do this. I might, I think I have three leaders. Oh, there it is. I hate how it's just mixed up with all kinds of crap. I wish there was some kind of order to these the leader shouldn't be in the middle. It should be either down at the bottom with the explorers and mercenaries or at the top. I don't know why that's the case. Okay, so I have three teams. Right now, his is the worst leadership only because I don't have his it, it upgraded. Otherwise, it'd be the best. So we're going to put him and let's find some demons. Cause that's the only thing that's going to get benefit from Slinger's lead there. I think it's just Venomate, yeah. So then we'll just put some other crappy characters with them. Let's put that. Oh man, like they're at level one. I really don't want to do that. We can change it here in a second though. We can. So let's throw Thanessa. I really don't want to do foul. I want to have someone with like some tankiness to them. I don't have any tanks, so we'll do Corcoran. We can change it. We can go back. We can change it. So let's just see how this works out. So I'm going to do a somewhat pride team. Because my, my pride is what I'm focusing on, but it's not quite where I want them yet. My best team is still Rantha. Um, okay, so I might put her on there. Like I said, we'll fine tune it and see what, what, what all we can do. Yeah, we're gonna have to throw someone just literally that's like one. We can't level them up because it's battlegrounds. So let's set that defense. Now let's set my Darien team and this. I said maybe I'll put Corcrum on the Rantha team. We'll see. Just a second. Yeah. I'm going to go grab Corcrum and put him over here. I mean, I have no other choice, really. He's somewhat of a <laughs> tank. He's a one-shot tank. And we'll throw Corcrum over here. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so I think that's about how I like it. I mean, you only get so much, to be honest, so... Um, yeah. So, tomorrow, we'll be doing a Battlegrounds on this, so I'm excited about that. Alright, let's look at my achievements. We're getting a little closer to a... Times 10 hero chest. I'm excited about that. They're not easy to come by, that's for sure. Now, I will say, if you don't know, they have free stuff every day in the bank, and I don't remember where it's at. Maybe it's special offers. Daily offer. You, you always get a free one. Maybe even twice a day. I don't know. And when you're free to play, and look, you get a weekly free one too. And when you're free to play, that's a huge deal. Um, I can't complain about that at all. I really... When, as an in-game player, I kind of was like, what are they doing? Like, why are they only focusing on the beginner players? Blah, blah, blah. But now that I've done this, I actually appreciate it a lot. Um, the free-to-play experience has really been a lot of fun. Now, the, the end game is stale. Like, I'm not going to lie about that. It gets stale when you get to the end. But if I was a beginner player, I'd have a blast being free-to-play. And by the time I got to where I am currently at on my other account, you'd have so much stuff to do. It's just, unfortunately, you have those beginner players like me and like so many other players that have been at, you know, playing this game from day one. We're bored, but because we're always sitting there. As soon as you release some content, we're eating it up as fast as we can, and then we're ready for the next thing. You know, we're like wolves up here at the top. And anyway, so free to play, this is fun. This is the most fun I've had in a long time. Really like unsure what I'm supposed to really be going for. Like, don't get me wrong, if you're watching these for tips, I'm kind of just messing around and trying different approaches, and they're not working as a true beginner tip go for the orcs get soleus use soleus to get more doom and then after that you have pretty much free reign over the game to go wherever you want after that especially with the legendary events not being timed events anymore they're always there whenever you want them so um, after you get the orcs and get soleus and then use soleus with the humans to get more doom you've probably got the campaigns beat by now and you can farm whoever you want and at that point, it's just, who should I go for after that? Um, I'm trying to go a different route than that, but it's hard. It's really hard. Um, I was talking to somebody in my Discord. Sorry, I, f I forgot who it was. But we're doing Pride, but think. I can get Boreas, Kagi, Hera, and Salvador, no problem. But think who the fifth one is. Let's go over and look, and then we'll finish this here in a second. So here we go. We can get these two. We can get Hera and Boreas, and we can get Revol, like, don't get me wrong, there's another one, but you need, almost in that team, almost need a, a Renara or a Roxy. Well, guess what? Renara's stuck behind a Legendary. Roxy is only found in this store, the Star Store here. See, and I have to get one, I, you only get that currency if you get extra shards over someone who's already been seven-starred. You know how long that's going to take me? So I'm sorry guys, I know we took the poll and everything, but we may have to stray towards something else later on. So yeah, I don't know what we're going to do about that, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk more about that when the time comes. So I'm going to finish what I was doing in the shop real quick before I got distracted. I have enough to get Boria shards, so I'm going to grab these, because I'm really needing these ability mats right now. The blue is not so much, I'm just trying to build a, somewhat of a roster. You know, I have to get five clan, five order, just to be able to complete the campaign. So, I'm still got to get abilities going. Abilities are one of the most important things in the whole entire game. And I haven't realized that until I was free to play. Like, what in my main account, I'm just upgrading abilities as soon as I get someone ready to, you know, ready to level up. I just take them all the way to six, and I don't even think about it again. And in, in the free to play, especially, you're just like, I'll take any green mats I can. Like, I can't get any mats. It's, it's the biggest bottleneck in the game for all of them. At one point or another in the game, there's a bottleneck for a certain type of mat. Right now, it's the green mats for me. And then when I get into the medium interme intermediate game, it's going to be those blue mats. It was the worst bottleneck I've ever had. But I moved on up and eventually, I, I right now have probably 1,200 at least blue mats on my main account. Now it's those gold mats. I can't get enough of them. So no matter what, there's always going to be a bottleneck 
for some kind of map. So I'm gonna get me some hair shards here. Some Eric Shieldbreaker. Like all these are actually pretty valuable right now to me. Not gonna buy runes. In Arena, I'm going all Salvador and Kagi. So that worked out. Where are we at on them? Oh, I can I can level up Salve. Tower, I so I'm completing it. I have quite a bit of currency as you can see. So I kind of have room to spend on stuff. I'm still not trying to stray away on too many things. Um, I might do Corkrum because when I've played so long I kind of know who I'm going to use and what and you know I'm kind of going to... I have a feeling that I'm going to be end up doing another legendary that's not pride first. I just have that feeling. My orcs are just naturally being leveled up without me even focusing on them. And something tells me that Solius will be our first legendary. However it works out, we'll, we'll make it work. I just made this big deal about a pole, and then it's not... I have a feeling that Pride's not going to work out. So Battlegrounds I can't do for the next few weeks. Let's see our chest, what we got going. Never anything too exciting. I like to do the shorter ones first and then the long ones later, so that sounded weird. <laughs> but my god guys, as a free to play player, Expeditions is the shiz. I I am so happy to have these. It's making my farmer farming even even easier. And it's usually characters free to play that I want. Starting out. I don't know if it depends what level you are. Is Maybe it depends what kind of rewards you get. I'm not sure. I mean, I know down here you can level up and get better rewards. But I don't know if that's capped off or you only get certain character shards if you're a certain level. I don't know. It kind of seems like that. We'll come back and complete them and do the other one. More ads. Get some rewards. I'll take that. I love energy. I will take energy any day. I love seeing those golden potions. Ow. Kevin Bob, beast. Uh, I can't reckon that Kevin Bob is really cool, and you can even plug and play him quite a bit if you like. He is awesome. He kind of made me now a fan of half pigs. It's taken me a long time to warm up to the half pigs. Just because I don't like their look, kind of. But Kevin Bob, man, and Centaurion, after playing them, like, I'm now a fan. Uh, we're going to hold off on that. We're not, I don't think we can get that yet. We may do these later, because if you guys look, I get 50 Drake coins if I can beat the lower ones. I can't unlock him, but I can still play the lower levels, and I can get 50 Drake coins. So, but we got a lot to do today. More ads. Let's get these expeditions out of here. Let's see if we can get these challenges out of the way. I really... I'm just at the point now where I have to auto whatever I've gotten. Progress really slows down after level 40. You don't level up as much, that's for sure. Alright, we did that. More ads. Let's do our arena battle while we're here. I'm, at, I'm in the 500s as you can see. I'm not sure what the best team is, honestly, but it's about the best people I have. And I'm not going for a tank approach. I'm trying to get as much attack out as I can. Um, as fast as I can, just kill them as fast as I can. So Freezard has been one of my best characters starting out here. Um, he always has been, and he's still a pretty good character in the end game. It's just he's really kind of starting to fall off. He's a little squishy, and he just doesn't hit as hard, and he he kind of falls off. He's still usable in battlegrounds and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this ability here, and it adds 25% magic damage, it gives me a 10% chance to de decrease turn meter, and it gives me plus 5% turn meter that that decreases. So that's a pretty good move, especially when you're trying to get all the speed and turn meter you can, 
it makes even more difference in the beginning. So we're going to do this one. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Hopefully this helps me a little bit in the battle. I'm scraping by in an arena, for sure. Alright, there's no leadership, so... Um, we'll go for... Homeboy here. Boreas. The Falcon Master. Failure. She's got some good stuff going on. I've been upgrading Eric Shieldbreaker too. Like, he's been helping me out a lot progressing in the game. Once again, Pride is just not helping me out right now. And I don't want him to be stuck just in one place because of Pride. I Don't get me wrong, I'm farming all their shards and everything else, but where the resources are at at the moment, it's not happening. Get some haste. And things like haste, that's a big, a big help for me too. Boom. Well, I thought I was in the 500s. I was in the almost the 700s. That's alright. I haven't been doing five refreshes because I've been really busy with Father's Day. And my son's birthday was the day before, so... More ads. We always love more ads. So now I'm going to do my little upgrade daily activities. And yeah, we have people like him we need to star up. Oh, Slinger. I gotta start working on his leadership. What do I need? Just these blue mats. Because when it gets to, gets to here, well, pretty much up to here, you pretty much need that maxed out for his leadership to be, it's one of the best leaderships in the game. One of the best. Because everyone's gaining turn meter every time they get critical hit or just hit. I think it's critical hit. I use Illyria. I don't use her a lot, but she helps me out in uh, tower mode. I use Mortha. She actually helps me out a lot. I don't like her at all, but she helps me out a lot in uh, tower mode also. We'll get Corkrum. I'm not putting much into Corkrum, but he's pretty good at starting out. He has this great stun lightning, and he has a pretty good kit. It's just, you know, he falls off rather quickly. He's still usable. There's a couple comps in the end game that he does really well in. But he has to have his T7s. If you want him to be usable at all in, in the end game, you got to have his T7s for sure. I know I'll end up uh, leveling up Calorian maybe soon. Maybe let's do it right now. Let's at least get him to 85 because I want to use him in Battlegrounds. I was kind of sad I didn't have him somewhere where I could use him. Because I don't want to take him up too far. Just enough for him to be somewhat of a presence. We'll just give him all hearts, uh, health sets, because you just want him to... He really doesn't do much. I'm just going to throw an artifact on him. Sure. Once again, I have no resources to level these up, so it really doesn't matter. It's just that one little thing might give you the tide in battle eventually. So at least he's having one little extra thing added to his kit to help. Alright, I don't want to put any more into him right now. Okay, so, so for the daily activities, we have to level up one person. We have to level up a rune. And we have to farm a clans and an order hard node. Kagi has both. And whether or not it works out, I'm still going for the pride. I'm still going to farm for them first. And there you go. Now, I'm also farming Hera and Salvador, so as long as I have the energy, I farm those two also. Hera's really only there for her leadership. That's literally all she's good for. That's it. 
She doesn't hit hard, she's weak. If it was not for her leadership, she'd be one of the worst characters in the game. But, we're farming her. And we still have some stuff left, and now we have to, we have to equip a gear piece. And since that's already there, I'm just gonna do it. I don't wanna sit there and farm up the gear all day. Probably off camera I might sit and try to level these guys up, but you just have to sit there and keep refreshing and farming for gear, and it's just not that cool to watch, so. Check out my achievement. Alright. Let's get some of our dailies going here. Hey! 43, baby! We're getting there! Challenge 8 will be available even though I'm so far away from even doing it. That's what I'm talking about though. Let's do this. Alright, I need to do 10 regular, 3 tournaments. Yep, so we're going to get all that here in a second. Well, let's go ahead and farm a piece. Uh, I'll just do that later because it's just boring. I, like I just said, farming gear is not something that people want to watch me do. I'll do that off camera. I usually do the tournament battles off camera too. So let's jump right into, let's do one more um, arena, and then let's jump into tower mode. Alright, so I'm just going to battle the the big dog. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to get stuck behind him, he looks pretty beefy. Uh, I'm going to take Corkrum out, because it looks like he'll be the weakest one. She has shield, or I would have went for Ren. Let's get some taunt going. Poison flowing. Alright, so far so good. Put some uh, buffs out. AoE's going. Venomate's really been helping me out in the beginning too. He puts out some damage. He, he, he's still using the end game, it's just, you know... I would consider him like a medium, like a... B minus C plus kind of character. Maybe even like a C. Okay, I need to quit talking. I'm getting my ass whooped here. They just came out of nowhere. Boom! Uh, let's get a taunt. Let's kill Mortha. I don't use that very often because once again, it's just about killing them faster than they kill me. It's not a bad move. I like using this one though. It, it helps me out quite a bit actually. Now Eric is an in-game player. Like, do not feel bad about Max and this guy. I took him gear 12. He's one of my first gear 12 characters. I put everything into this man. And he will one-shot some of the best tanks in the game. I say one-shot, but like Titania, she'll have full health and he'll hit her once with that second ability. Boom, like that much health. In the red, one more hit and she's dead. And she takes he takes Kiri's down. You cannot go wrong maxing Eric Shield Breaker out. He does best with Garrett and the human team, but you can put Eric Shield Breaker. He's maybe one of the best plug and play characters in the whole game. Cause the one where he puts all those buffs up, it keeps you it when you max out his abilities. It keeps you from landing any buffs on your whole team and everything. It just it makes your team so durable. And when I first played, I underestimated him, and I didn't really think he was that great. Let me tell you now, if you're a beginning player, you cannot go wrong maxing Eric Shieldbreaker out. And you can put him on any team you want him to be on. And if you're going against a Garrett, that move where he puts debuff immunity on you, or buff immunity, whatever it's called, I think it's debuff immunity, um, he won't be able to land those blinds on you as long as that's up on your whole team. So he's a great counter to Garrett. And he works best with Garrett, so... <laughs> Let me grab my rewards here. And we're going to do tower mode. Tower mode hasn't been taking me too long. It takes me about 20 minutes or so. As long as I'm 
you know, staying on it. Let's do normal. And this is where most of your resources are going to come from. You know, so make sure you're doing your very best to complete these. Because once you complete a hundred of these, you can hit auto and you just get everything. You don't ever have to play it again. So make sure you're every single day you're doing your best to complete it. If you don't complete it, it doesn't count towards your 100. Cause see, I've done seven, and I've compl I need 93 more. And the same goes for the hard mode. But I'll tell you now, I haven't even beat hard mode auto runs. I don't do it. I just auto this. So you'll be once you get this autoed, you'll be doing this pretty much for the rest of your time until hard mode gets a little easier. Cause it is not it's not fun. So my strategy right now is pretty much a Darien second team, and then I put Ranth when I can't do much better with Darien, I just put Ranth in a team with her, and she this seems to carry me through. I get about halfway with Darien, and then I finish the rest with Rantha. Let's level them up too, because I haven't got the chance to do that. All right, let's do it. Kill her first. One we'll up getting stuck behind him, but I'll tell you what, Sharp is also a good person. That's doing pretty. Well. I'm not using much because I don't really want to put resources into him if I don't have to. But going up against him, he is screwing some of my people up. That that move right there, he was taking my characters out with that move. So you can't go wrong using him either. And I did starting out. I think he's one of the ones they give you. But don't forget, you always want to try to have all your refreshes, all your cooldowns at zero for the next battle. Because it all carries over. Wherever your cooldowns are at on the hard tower, is it carries over. Yeah, I probably should have killed Foul first. You also want to make sure you have as much health as you can into the next match. Because whatever health you have is what you're carrying over. So I've kind of noticed that healers are really... I use healers more in this mode than any other one. And on to the next one. Let's start out killing... I want to try to take her out if I can. Like, I like that dodge move of fouls, don't get me wrong, but it's just like sometimes I feel like she hits hard enough to where it's just like I want to get rid of the team fast. So I don't even use it. I usually save it for like teams I'm worried about going up against. So then I use it. Otherwise, I just try to kill everyone as fast as I can. See, I'm going to use this so that I have more health in the next round. There you go. I kill. Oh. And now I'm up to full health. I won't need to use it again until two or three turns anyway, so. And on to the next. This one's a little tricky. A lot of tanks and a lot of healers. Not much damage going out, but it can be frustrating. So, Sinjil should be the weakest one. So, we're going to try to take him out so he doesn't keep healing these tanks when we're trying to get around them. But because there's so many healers and tanks, we're going to start... Yeah, we're going to start doing some AoEs here. Alright, we're good now. <clears throat> now we're just going to start using basics. And if you can save a tank for last, that's perfect. So you can just sit there and hit them and get your cooldowns back to zero. I'm just going to say right now, don't work on Thanessa if you're unlocking her as a beginner. Because she is not helpful in anything but raids. When you start getting serious in the raids, then, then get her. But Otherwise, I started working on her and she's terrible. She does not help me at all. Illyria is, is a, and Mortha are better healers starting out than Thanessa is. We're going to do this because we want to take them out rather fast. We're going to try to kill Venomate before Rantha puts down Battle Poo. Come on, man. Come on. Alright. 
We did our job. We're gonna do dodge because there's a lot of attacks gonna be coming at us. Let's do that move. Surprisingly, that oh, she did she dodge that guys? I'm not sure. I think so, or else he would have took me down, maybe even killed me. All right, we we definitely needed that taunt. We're gonna save this heal for the, towards the end of the battle. Let's kill her, so she's not healing, and then we're gonna go for shark next. She's got that uh, the twenty percent chance to dodge, so don't ever hit them if you can't, or if you can, try to avoid that because. You could be sitting there trying to hit him 18 times and never hit him. Like, it's so random. That wasn't too bad, actually. She only dodged once. Um, let's just lay down an AoE. Why not? It doesn't really do anything. Using this basics almost better. Now, see, we got Garrett here, so... He hasn't been too bad for me. If you just go straight for him, you can usually kill him before he does anything too crazy. So I'm going to just start using basics because we've already took them all down quite a bit. Mar is a little more, does more damage in the beginner game than Pigwald does. But let me tell you, Pigwald is crazy damage later on. If you get him geared up and stuff, it's crazy. So it's funny how some of the crappier characters are better to use in the beginning game. And some of the best characters aren't good in the beginner game like they have to have all their abilities to be good some of these characters don't so it's very interesting how this is playing out it's not at all what, how I thought it would be I have never been free to play I've never had another free to play account this is my first time ever doing this and it's a whole different world but I'm having a blast I want to say that now I do I'm still getting Dracoin monthly packs that's about all I spend on every month even with the ads and all that, I'm still I'm still getting them. I've done some talking with Liz, and things are all right. Things are going to be okay. The game's not dying, and they're working on some other stuff they haven't announced yet. And so I think things are going to be fine. We're just really bored right now with the game. But anyways, I don't want to get into that. But I'm not going to lie. There for a while, I was kind of worried about the game. But like I said, Liz talked to us in the in the chat and. I think we're going to be fine. It's just a stale time for the game. Everyone's bored and frustrated. Alright, let's heal. I'm going to do this. Once again, these AoEs are helping me out getting the battle going, so... I'm going to put the dodge up. We're going to taunt. Um, There's some good damage dealers out here. Let's try to take Freeze Art out since his health is lowest. Still a pain. Alright, there we go. We're going to use this. Dang. Let's try to get Corkrum out of there. Zara, I'm worried about. We need to get to her soon. But all these other ones have such low health, I kind of want to work on them. But Zara can do some damage real quick. Let's do that again. My cooldowns are going to be crap, probably. Mmm, that's right there is what I was worried about, that move. But we got heal just in time, but yeah, see how bad her heal is? Like, it's not good. I think I'm going to bring in Cool Eye. Dude, Cool Eye, I love her. She is awesome, dude. Awesome. I love her kit. I love her, her look, like the dragon animation and stuff. She is cool, and I'm telling you, she's a beast. Starting off, even if you have her three to four stars, I'm putting abilities in her, and she's my main healer. So she'll get me through the Order campaign, I guess, but not the clans. But when Demon campaign comes along, she's going to go a long ways for me. So even at a low star level, she's really good and worth putting everything into. I mean, obviously, you can't do a legendary event until she's seven star, 
But by the time that matters for me, she'll be farmable. So I'm putting everything in, and she is my main healer right now. So we're going to do that, actually, right now. We'll take Illyria out and put Kulai. As you can see, she, I have her the most, you know, her hero power is the highest out of everyone I have. She is just good. And the reason she's good is because of this right here. I'm going to show it to you maxed out. She gains 25% increased magical damage and additional 10% for each alive, alive panda. That's not what I'm talking about. Every time an ally loses health, every time any ally, not just one panda, any ally loses just health, that's it. That's all that has to happen. Every time, guys, every single time someone on your team, no matter who they are, loses health, she gains 20% turn meter. Do you know how crazy that is? It's freaking nuts. You know, make her as fast as you can, but make her, like, with attack runes. Um, attack set. Because her healing's based on her attack, and she's already getting so much turn meter, she doesn't require speed runes. At all. She is crazy, you guys. So it also reads, if Allied Panda loses more than 25% of their maximum health, Kulai restores additional 20% turn meter. Even more turn meter. And it gets crazy. It is crazy, guys. She is awesome. Now, real quick, this is where I'm at with her right now. She gains 25% increased magical damage. Every time an ally loses health, she gets 10% turn meter. That's still awesome for beginning out. So I just can't talk enough about her. She is maybe my favorite healer in the whole game. Is she the best healer? Maybe. She, I think she may be. I haven't tested her in a lot of plug and play situations. But look here, I have no pandas at all. And she's my best healer. So I, she's cool, guys. She is so cool. All right, so let's do some AOE. Let's do a taunt. Let's throw some healing, and she she's pretty much just a healer, which I'm totally okay with. Um, let's, huh. I feel like they're going to be tougher the harder up the tower goes, so we're going to put some dodge up on everybody. Well, on some people. I'm not going to use that on Battle Poo. Let's get his stance going. AoE's going. Snorri is great starting out, too. He's been great for me. All right, this move is huge. Actually, her mass healing ability is a lot better than her single one, and it gives away gives way more health. Watch this. I mean, that's pretty good. I want obviously I want a little bit more on him, but that was pretty good. At the point where I'm at. So who do I want to go for here? Battle Poo's already out, so I'm gonna go for Illyria because she can sit there and heal. Nothing more frustrating when you've almost got somebody and they heal. So let's heal Darien. See, that one wasn't very good at all. A singular heal should be better than the mass heal. But I don't have her abilities all the way up, so... And I plan on working on her even more. I'm almost to the point where I'm not even that worried about doing a legendary event. All I really need is Battleground Store, to be honest. Really be smart with how I spend that currency. And that's all we really need. Alright, Rantha's gone. Damn it. Let's do a mass heal. See, look at that. Boom. Topped it off. That's pretty big right now at the point I'm at in this game. So we want to get our cooldowns going. Health looks good. If we can just get Foul out of here, I'm not worried about Adam there. He's literally just... See, that's what you want. You want the tank to be last, so you can make sure all your cooldowns are good. This is the perfect situation. See, everybody's cooldowns are at zero now. And that gives you the momentum going into the next match. So we are on level eight. 
this is about the time where I have to switch over. Let's see how things go in the battle, but I'll probably have to switch over either back out and switch to Rantha or after this. All right, and speak of the devil. That's the first one I've went up against. Let's do this AOE. Do the stance. Do some dodge. Do a taunt. AOE. We're good on he healing. I'm gonna kill Rantha just because her health is the lowest. Yep. And I wanted to try to get it before Battle Poo was out, but... We're gonna do a... Let's do the single one right now. There's a lot of AO... See, her single just isn't good. I gotta put more abilities into that. But I'm glad I saved that mass one because... Now we need it. Look at that. Right back up. Perfect. Let's try to kill Sharp. Oh, I didn't get him, though. Let's put this on Darien. Freaking love her, man. All right, we're going to do another AoE. Because we're not quite where we want to be. Another AoE. Let's try to kill Raval. Let's put this on again. Because there's still some AoEs out there we'd want to dodge. Crap. Let's put this on Kulai. Dang it. We're going to do another AoE. This one's tough. But we're doing good. We're doing good. Uh, I'm happy where we are, to be honest. Let's kill her. We might have to use it at the end, we'll see. I'm just gonna use this on Kulai, cause we need to keep her alive in order to heal, so. And we live to survive for another battle. So the more battles you can get with your second team, the, the better, man. Like that's a huge win, the farther up you can get without having to use your main team. So we have four more left, and we're going to continue using what's working. Get the stance. I'm still not going to do that, but let's put some on Snorri here. Let's taunt. AoE. AoE. Um, dodge up. Still going to hold off on that. We're going to go for failure. She's got some killer AoEs. Alright, she's gone. Let's go for Corcoran. Uh, we'll AoE. Uh, let's put the single one on Darien. Let's go for Puncher Face. His health's a little low. Um, I'm gonna wait. Do a singular. Get our cooldowns going. I'm feeling pretty good now. Let's do another singular heal on Slanger. Try to get rid of her. I might have to do a mass heal here in a second. Hopefully she gets enough turn meter where I can come back around. He actually helped me out by doing that. He helped me out a lot. A lot. And another perfect run. So that leaves us with it. I don't think I've done this good with Darien before. And I honestly think it's because of... Of Kulai. And this is something for me to keep in... I don't know. I think she's probably best with Pandas. Because... She's getting so much more synergy with the Pandas. But she's still okay, doing okay with other teams. So I wonder what putting her on like a with Darien on defense on battlegrounds how that would work all right let's do our taunt stance AOE so it looks like he's I want to kill major shot if he gets that blind off that might be bigger than what we think 
If that's a whole turn, none of my team gets to go. Um, we're just going to do a singular. Uh, we're going to do a mass one now. Just to make sure we're doing good. And, and she gets so much turn meter, she'll come right back around with, and her cooldowns will be... Yeah, like, it's not a big deal. She's crazy good. Let's give it to Darian since he's taunting. Let's do an AoE. We'll do, do his AoE, why not? Let's get rid of Xantara as fast as we can. Alright, we need to get some healing going. Oh, man, guys. Holy crap. That was not good. That was not good at all. Let's try to keep... See, we might end up backing out this one. If I don't have enough heal health for Kulai. We're going to do a mass. There we go. Alright, that worked out perfectly for us. Well, kind of. I'm going to give it back to Kulai. That's okay, because we're going to switch over to Rantha after this one. But we still want these guys to be in decent condition, so if, like, let's say I use Rantha and there's one person left on the last node, well, I want to be able to go in and clean it up with a decent team. So we still want, we don't want to just go in until our second team sucks. We still want them to survive and have somewhat good health. So backing out, if you can't do very well, or if you can beat it, but they're all you know, in the yellow and red, just back out, let them be in, in the green, and then move up to your, your first team. But we have two left, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. This That was a major win for Darian. He carried us through that whole thing. Like, we're probably going to breeze right through this now. So, dun, 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 Kulai. But like, these two, they're putting out a lot of damage for me, and I just have them on the back burner. You know, he's a great tank too, and I just got him on the back burner. So we're, we did great. This was a great, great run. I'm gonna put this directly on Kulai because she's a little low on health. We're gonna take out Boreas because his health is lower. Um, I can tell that if I keep going working on Garrett there, that his bars just got way too much health, and we're gonna be there all day. So we might have to take the L, take the blind today. We'll see. Alright, he's gone. Let's hit him with that tornado. Oh! Well, yeah, if that's still going, we can actually get around that. I'm going to take a, take away Master Duo because I'm not putting any resources into him, but he hits hard, man. Let's go for Roxy, actually. Because her heals are going to be crazy good. Let's heal Kulai again, keep her alive. But Roxy's a beast. We want to get Roxy for our pride team. Yeah, he hit most of us with with the blind, unfortunately. Let's do a mass heal. Well, that did absolutely nothing, so that was nice. We keep missing. I don't know why. Let's put this over on Kagi. Yeah, see, this got real, real fast. I'm glad we switched over. Let's get some haste going. Damn, she is, take, she is taking some damage. Let's try to get rid of Garrett now. I should have focused for him a long time ago. Um, we're just going to go for the damage. Let's do an AoE. Bear Paw. AoE. We need some more healing going. Yep, let's heal Kulai back up. Uh, Corcoran's got the least amount of health. That move. That move is worth it for Master Duo. Like he's putting out crazy damage, so you can't go wrong with doing that. Perfect timing on the healing. Perfect timing. Hopefully we can get some cooldowns somewhat. Battle Poo's kind of ruining that for us. Alright, I'll take that. Alright, so this is the last match. So this move has a chance to, to remove turn meter, so I always do that anytime I can. Our health is looking good. We're going to get stuck behind him really soon. we got to try to get rid of Boreas. Um, we're going to go for the damage. we got to make them faster. That'll help. Get some haste going. Get a taunt out there. 
AoE. Um, let's put this over on Kagi. Let's put this up since we're stuck behind him. AoE, perfect. They got rid of Boreas, now we gotta worry about Mar. He's got a really hard hitting AoE that he does. Well, we're going right through Darien, so that's, that's promising. It's looking good. AoE. Get him out of there. Yeah, out of there! And it is a home run, kids. Top off these these health bars. And you're done. Go to bed. That's how you do it, boys. Hard, or not hard tower. Tower mode 101. Even though I cannot beat the hard tower. I have not beat it in a long time. Alright guys. That's pretty much it. Okay, so we're going to try to beat as many as we can of these tiers of these legendaries. To get Drake coins to try to open up a 10 times hero chest here. And we have 2,500. So we need 200 Drake coins. So I think I can do it. I'll edit it around so it's not so boring, and so let's do this. So I've already beat the first Solius one. I don't know if I can beat this one, but we'll give it a try. So let's keep hitting them with our basics. Hopefully our uh, cooldowns will help us out here. I don't know, guys. <laughs> this is going to be a close one. I didn't even think I was going to be able to beat it. All right, so let's put. Uh, I'm gonna work on Freezard. I'm glad I didn't do Taunt, cause he had a Taunt. If we can, ah, uh, see if we could have stunned somebody there, that would have been big. Uh, let's do an AOE. Come on, man, come on. We can do this. Ugh. We can do this. Put him back out. Heal. We can do this. Come on, boys. Okay, uh, we want to get off of him. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Oh, we got this, boys. Come on! Hey! Hell yes! Boom! Ow! Get out of here! I'm coming for you, Solius. You just wait. In about eight months, I'll see you. <laughs> just kidding. I don't know how long it'll take. It shouldn't take that long. But it won't always be that... E well, that wasn't easy, but... A lot of these events, I probably don't even have any people for. So, Alright, let's check out the Ember event. We have, all right, no leader. We might be able to do the very first one, so. All right, put a ton up. This doesn't look promising. <laughs> uh, Mar, I guess. All right, he's out, so that makes me feel better. I'm glad we did that. I'm not looking forward to Tromgar, though. Let's, uh, let's try to get him. I should have did the heal move. Crap. Come on. Oh, look at that. Alright, he peeled right through him. What? Well, now I feel good. Tromgar's out of there. Come on, Battle Poo. Always there to ruin the tide of battle. Get out of here. Well, that worked out pretty well. I'm going to save that for Antha. We don't need that. Let's just do it on her. Let's just get this done. I'm just going to auto it. Get out of my way. It's time for battle. Hey! I think we only need to beat two more, and we have 2,700. 
Let's check out General Murdoch's one. That, I don't know about. We'll come back to that if we have to. There's only two people. Let's check out the Renara event. This we might be able to do. Let's try it. No leadership, but that's okay. I might need to level him up. Oh, damn it. Well, Amara is a pain. So is he, but I'm not worried about Pigwald in the beginning game. Dang. Let's heal her. AoE. Oh, they're a little tankier than I thought they were going to be. Let's get his little move going. Dang. This one's tough. Dodge. AoE. Nice. Let's do the mass AoE, or the mass heal. Dude, these cultists are a pain in the butt. I can't stand them. Let's, let's uh, heal Kulai. Let's do an AoE. Perfect. Perfect. You guys know of a good soundboard? Because I'd like to play, like, sounds like that. Like, perfect from uh, Mortal Kombat or something like that. Maybe it was Street Fighter. I don't remember. And just like other stuff from movies and games. If you know a good soundboard, let me know. Alright guys, that worked out pretty well too. Ow! Dun 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 ah, ah, ah. I believe we only need 50 Drake coins. I think this one, it's, it's on. I could probably do the first two. If need to be. Look at all these. Let's do these! Alright. I don't really know who to go for first. Some of them are healers. Some of them are taunters. Some of them are attackers. I'm just kind of looking to see who has like the least health. Goodbye. Poor Selena. Serena? I don't know what her name is, actually, now that I think about it. Boom! What is this? But these taunters, man. I wish they would make the little faction. Like, change it up, don't make them look so generic. But I'd be down for, like, a cultist faction. Come on, damn! I'm taking this a little too lightly. Get out of here. Like I said, these cultists are pains in the butts. No wonder I always hated them so much. Get out of here. Boom. Alright, I think this might be enough. Let's go check. And if so, times 10 hero chest, baby! Let's do it! Oh, I wish I had him, man. He's such a beast. <laughs> Times 10 hero chest dance! Alright. I love doing this. This is my favorite part. Let's go to chess. And it's about to go down! Hero chess. Times 10, boys. Times 10. Type who you want to see in the chat, kids. Type it now. Because it's about to go down. I got a good feeling. Let's go. Let's go. slinger shards that is not bad right there is good I'm four shards away from having him six star I have to put abilities in him now I have to I have to I have to I have to um, punch your face I don't really care just getting 80 shards of anyone is a big pull ambulance ambulance I'm not a huge fan of he's okay but that helps me farm the pigs later on I don't have to worry about that 
awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Also, I needed a half pig in the tournaments the other day and I couldn't enter the tournament because of that. So that is a huge deal. A um, major shot, that just helps me towards, and Sergeant Pigwald. Um, Pigwald's, I think I hit big last time, so that's helping me out whenever it comes down to the legendary time. Uh, you know, 5, 10, 15 there. Um, 50 on all lore. That sucks. That really sucks. But, you know, if it's free to play. I could probably use him for his event. So, um, I'm totally happy with that. The 80 shards of Slinger is huge. I can unlock Mar. I can unlock Shaolin. Um, there's some there's some crappy ones sprinkled in there. But for the most part, 80, 80, 50. That's big. Um, and the two 80s were two people I will end up using in the, in the end. So, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So glad I got to do this with you guys today. We're going to call that a wrap. That's a perfect way to end it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. 70% um, of you guys are not subscribed to my channel. So if you enjoy watching my stuff, I'm doing it every few days. This free-to-play series is going to go on forever. I'm going to have three or four of them out a week. Um, I'm going to go back to streaming here in a couple weeks. Um, just lots of stuff to do for Dragon Champions. So if you enjoy my stuff, please hit subscribe. Everyone else who knows me, you know I love you guys. I'll see you guys in Discord. I'll see you in the chat. And I'll also see you guys next time. Peace.